it is always my endeavor to give as much as I can uh, through these programs uh, and therefore uh, we really have a very very long agenda and uh, uh, we would definitely be able to complete it. So we would start the session with understanding of uh, what is purpose of a business and what is mantra to achieve that purpose. Then we will understand uh, relationship between profit, growth, sustainability, good corporate governance and leadership. Thereafter, we will, uh, do, we will do the decoding of uh, profit and uh, profitability and also understand how P&L is used for the purpose of strategy formulation. Thereafter, we would focus on the balance sheet and understand the balance sheet uh, as to how to use it for judging financial strength of a business. Interestingly, friends, world over, uh, whenever you look at the balance sheet of a company, uh, you would notice that the two sides of the balance sheet, assets and the liabilities are always same and doesn't really matter as to which balance sheet you are talking about. You are talking about a balance sheet of a limited company, private limited company, partnership company, proprietorship company, government company, private company, Indian company, foreign company manufacturing company, IT company, doesn't really matter, loss making company, profit making company, doesn't really matter. Whenever you look at the balance sheet of a company, you would always see that the two sides, the total of the two sides, that is assets and liabilities is always same. And therefore a question comes to our mind, if that be the case, then how do you figure it out? Which balance sheet is good or which balance sheet is not good? That is what we will understand. Working capital management friends, I'm sure uh, I have gone through the list of the participants. All of you are uh, from the corporates, uh, either uh, in the executive position or in the consulting position. And therefore, we all are aware as to uh, working capital management becomes extremely essential for every business. Uh, what is the fundamental principle of efficient working capital management? That is what we would understand. Thereafter, uh, we would also be delving into slightly different zone and that is power of subconscious and how to use the power of subconscious for uh, excelling in finance, business and life. Uh, that is what we would be focusing. And remember this first line that I showed to you, uh, finance is not difficult to learn, rather it is like music to ears. It is nothing but part of that power of subconscious. Uh, then we would be doing the decoding of a cash flow statement for evaluating inherent strength of a business. And then also understand how to assess overall finance position and prospects of a business and that is what is absolutely important for every one of us. And finally friends, uh, I'm going to share with you uh, introduction of something very interesting called Partha system. I'm sure some of you would have heard about Partha system. Uh, what this Partha system is, this of course was uh, developed by none, none other than Sri Ghansyam Das Ibrila who is the uh, founder of the Birla group uh, in this uh, country, not only this country, but globally. Uh, amazing uh, tool for management control. We'll give you an introduction introduction about uh, the Partha system as well. And thereafter, of course, we will have some question and answer sessions. And with that, we will conclude our session of today.